Hello, it's James here from Let's Talk Retro again, and today we've got another Euro 2016 prediction video. And uh, today it's England against Slovakia. Now, as you join me here, the producer has just told me that Colin is having a bit of a problem. I'm just going to go over to him and check. Colin, are you there? Oh, yeah, James, yes. Yes, James, there has been a bit of a problem, a bit of a spanner in the works. And that is uh, basically, some of you may have realised or thought, really thought it, that Slovakia is quite a new country. And as a result, I'm not been able to find them in any retro footballing games. Um, basically, they only came a country in their own right, I think, in about 1993, splitting from Czechoslovakia. And uh, since then, as a footballing nation, they've only qualified, I think, for the 2010 uh, World Cup and for these European Championships. So, obviously, they're not in any footballing games. Maybe they might have been in a World Cup one for 2010 if I could find one. But again, not all that retro, really. So, uh, I've had to think of ways around this. And first of all, I thought I could play them or play against them as them as being Czechoslovakia. But I thought it's probably not really right, um, not the right thing to do. Um, I thought I could get hold of a copy of this year's UEFA Championships official game, uh, which is basically Pro Evolution Soccer. They've done it as a DLC, um, which you can either download or you can buy the game now with the DLC. So uh, I could have done that, but that's not really keeping it retro. So my third option, and I'm quite excited about this actually, because it's to play it on the first game that I ever played, or the first football game I ever played. Anyway, and that is International Soccer on the Commodore 64. Now, the reason I can play it on this is because it doesn't actually have any team names, and it just goes by the colours. So I can set the two colours up uh, for the teams, what they play in, and uh, problem solved. Uh, this game was actually released in about 1983-84. Uh, no, um, only came on cartridge originally. Uh, I think about 1988 it was released... Uh, or repackaged and re-released as Emmy Hughes' International Soccer. Um, I mean, looking at the back, the graphics look basically the same. So I think that's what they did. I think they just repackaged it and then released it on cassette with the Emmy and Hughes branding. So anyway, that gets us out of that little hole. Great, I'm glad you sorted that out, Colin. Are you ready to get playing? Yes, James, I'm ready. I'm here with my uh, joystick of choice, my uh, zip stick, and uh, ready to play. So I'm going to set this up now, so I'm going to make... England should be red because they're the away team in this. Oh, not right. And Slovakia are white. And I'll go for level four. So we're all ready to get the kickoff underway. Let's go to Colin in the games room and get the game on. First half action coming up. So remember, I'm playing as um, England in red because they are the away team. Slovakia are supposed to be the home team, even though neither of them are uh, actually home. So uh, here we go, England with the kickoff. And we're off. Now, I used to be quite good at this, but it's still plays quite a good game of football, this actually. Oh, how's it going? Oh, I've edited it out. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, now this is actually, even though it's a fairly primitive game, still prefer to play this on the latest FIFA, if you ask me, because I said in the last game, all oh, the packs, opening the packs gets on my nerves. And now they're doing an added a C, uh, uh, E3 this week. They say they're going to add a, a story mode. Why do we want a story mode? We want to buy a, buy a football game to play football. If we want to play a story mode game, then we'll get, like, you know, Uncharted or... You know, Tomb Raider or something like that. I just, just don't know what FIFA or what EA, sorry, are doing with the FIFA series at the moment. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just like an old cranky git. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you think we should have a story mode? Are they? I mean, I just want to pick up a game and have a game of football. That's all I want to do. Don't want to open packs or play a story mode or anything like that. And even though it's probably somewhere there, I always find on the latest versions. I just can't find. I just to play one one off game of football. It's just hidden away under so many different menus. Anyway, rant over. Let's get on with this game. It's not been riveting so far, has it? Probably going to be something like this. The actual game and there. 
Oh, he's in. He's gonna have a shot. That's a shot away. Ah, oh, the keeper saved it. Oh, look at this. Some heading skills going on. I remember you can actually, if you get it right, you can head the ball from one the end of the pitch to the other. Come on. And you can't really change players very well. That's another thing. I've got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yes. Back on the attack. Uh, short lived. Oh, I got it back. Oh, it's actually out of my hand using a joystick. <laughs> You're so used to game pads these days that uh, hanging away on a joystick. That doesn't sound good, does it? <laughs> and also, I remember on this game, you've actually got control of the keepers as well, so they're not automatically controlled, you have to control them yourself. Oh, like that, I have to jump. Great save the dive. So uh, yeah, but I mean I know this uh, game doesn't look great, but I'll tell you what, back in nineteen eighty three, this was state of the art. This is uh, just couldn't believe this the graphics, and now you could play football on a on a computer back then. Let alone uh, having a little oh, you saved that. Not alone like having the, the, these days the state of the art graphics that you get the players actually look like the players and everything. That was just uh, something that we all just hoped would happen one day. Didn't even know that back then whether it would actually happen. So it's half time and uh, it's uh, back over to James in the studio. Nil nil. Okay, you're back with me. It's half time and it's nil nil. So that's a pretty uneventful first half, unfortunately. I don't think the game is uh, is helping much, but it's pretty good for 1983. You got to remember that. So uh, right, let's get on with the second half. So yes, the teams are coming out for the second half. I promise you, no boring rants this time about how I hate FIFA these days. So stick with it. And it's the back of the kick off. Ref blows eventually. I'll try and get hold of the ball. Come on. Oh, great uh, great block. Put put his body on the line there to block that one out. Oh, oh, oh. Delayed reaction, I just didn't jump. Oh dear, so it's Slovakia 1, England 0. Starting to look a little bit embarrassing because you would expect England would do better than this. It's just my rubbish playing, that's the problem. Right, so we've got the ball. Oh, head in, head in skills. Shoot. Oh. Thought I was going to get that one in. Come on, let's get that man on the ball. I think there was a tactic on this if I can do it where if you shot and sort of like did it to the one side of the keeper you'd dive and then the ball would come back out and you could get it and then uh, then score while he's still on the ground so I might have to try and give that a go see if we can get this goal at least get a goal back Saved it again. The easiest thing to do is run your player off the screen and it forces it to change to another player. It's like that. And they can't score another. Got the ball back. So he's at field. Thought I was going to be him with a chance. Now he's heading the ball at field again. And I thought I might have some defence. <laughs> Where is the defence gone? Oh, there is a bloke. There is a bloke left back. Come on. Oh, there's actually there's actually three now. Where do they appear from? 
not interested for him. There's no midfield whatsoever, is there, in this game? It's just attack and defence, end-to-end stuff. Right, let's try that tactic. Let's try and hit it straight at the keeper. Let's just dive now if I get this. Thing. Oh, he's got back up in time. That tactic didn't work, did it? 37 seconds to try and get at least the goal back to make it a draw. Otherwise, it's not looking good for the next round, the next match, guys. It's there throw 17 seconds. I'm running out of time. They're time wasting now, ref. Definitely time wasting. He just stood there. Get to the keeper to make a save because no one else is bothering now. And that's it. I'm afraid it's a 1 0 defeat for England. If the retro gaming gods and my game playing skills are predicting this right, it's not looking good. As the players go off, it's back over to James in the studio. Sorry, guys. It's full time, the whistle has blown and unfortunately a 1-0 loss for England. We're sorry about that guys, but you know this is a prediction video and the Commodore says it's going to be a 1-0 loss to England. So if you're watching from Slovakia, good win. Thanks for joining us as always on Let's Talk Retro. Give us a like if you like the video and click subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks very much, keep it retro. Hello, it's James here from Let's Talk Retro and today we've got another Euro 2016 football prediction video for you and today it's Slovakia, Slovakia, <laughs> Slovakia. Hello, it's James here again from Let's Talk Retro and today we've got another Euro 2016 prediction video for you. Today it's Slovakia versus England. Slovakia. What's wrong with that? Slovakia. South Africa. <laughs> Slovakia. Slovakia. Okay. Sounds Slovakia. Slovakia. What was it? No. What was it called before? It was Slovakia. Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Yeah. Why are you gonna say it with a funny? Czechoslovakia. <laughs> that's, that's South African, mate. Just talking at your ass. <laughs> There we have it, the final whistle has blown and uh, unfortunately a loss for England. What was the score? Pardon me.